And as we look at social media and the impact that social media has had on it, what also it has done is social media has put us all in a situation where every day we are voluntarily going into an echo chamber of our own bias and conditioning. Do you know that it's not only an echo chamber from a metaphorical perspective, it truly is an echo chamber because there are these things called artificial intelligence that know your likes and preferences. And just like that, they are able to tell you what kind of music you'll like on Pandora, they also know what kind of political leanings you have. And they will give you an echo chamber of that conditioning bias over and over and over again because it suits them. And it, they know that that's addictive to you. It's addictive to all of us to basically hear that I'm right. But maybe the larger lesson in life is that we need to learn how to accept the other viewpoints. Last time, we talked about this. Perspective. One viewpoint is this is just a circle. Another viewpoint is that it's a rectangle. But the higher knowledge is that it's a cylinder. How many aspects of your life fall into that category? And how often do we beat up on ourselves? The world is not a tough place because people don't like each other. The world is a challenging and difficult place often because people don't like themselves. It's really that simple. And once you learn, and first, the first step is this, decide to accept yourself. Decide to love and accept yourself. And I promise you, if you can embrace that concept, not only will you love and accept yourself, you'll start to love the people that you never thought that you could. You'll have a closer relationship. Instead of looking at your spouse and saying, gosh, it would be so much better if they made this change, if they did this thing differently, if they stopped leaving drawers open in their, <laughs> in their house or in the kitchen, because we all have little pet peeves. But instead, make a decision to accept them just exactly how they are. Because what is it that we all want? We all want acceptance for who we are. But the truth is, we all feel like we have to wear a mask. Because there's no way, if somebody knew all the things that I am imperfect on, that anyone could ever like me or accept me. If someone knew all the things that I do and knew everything about me, would they still like me? So when you're a child up until today, have you made conscious and unconscious decisions to present a certain aspect of yourself? Sort of like your resume. Here's how I wanna be perceived. Here's how I wanna be seen. Narcissism is falling in love with that reflection. It's not falling in love with your true self because all of us are imperfect. Everybody makes mistakes. Everyone does things well and everyone does things poorly. None of us are any better than the other. And when we start recognizing the things we don't like about ourselves are really just the things that we're judging around us that we don't like in others, that's a tough pill to swallow sometimes. But I can tell you, as sure as I'm sitting here, it's true. It's been true for me, and I think it's true for all of us. And I think that's one of the major reasons, if there's a purpose to life, that is the purpose to life. To understand how each of us can learn to accept ourselves. And once we do, there's no stopping you as to what you can do, because you shed all your masks. The mask comes off. 